Healthcare professionals in operating theatres or interventional radiology often lack updated uh, radiation protection training because it can be done just once in their career, often when they start in the hospital or the clinic, and it's never repeated or it's never repeated in a meaningful way because it's very time consuming. The essential tools for minimizing radiation exposure are the radiation safety jackets and thyroid shields and radiation safety glasses. But in addition to that, there's a lot of training that's needed. We sometimes compare it to someone wearing a bulletproof vest, whereas if you can add training to it, it's kind of like unloading the gun. Radiation safety training is critical for these healthcare professionals. Without it, they're really putting their lives and certainly their health at risk. They're working in an environment where they need to be safe. And certainly over the last couple of decades, health and safety at work has taken on a much um, greater emphasis. The potential health issues associated with an increased risk of radiation exposure, well, you've got the obvious stochastic radiation effects, where, which is, includes things like cancer. But then what's really common, and it shouldn't be in a, especially a cardiac catheterization lab, is the skin burns on a cardiologist or the hair loss. Um, a certain amount of radiation will cause a cataract. We know that, and this is the thing we've got to avoid in a, um, in a, at a workplace. Radiation safety training um, benefits healthcare professionals because it allows them to maintain their own safety at work. This gives them a nicer working environment, it helps them to feel secure, and ensures that um, they feel more looked after by their employers. Comprehensive and ongoing education programs in radiation safety sort of look after both sides of the spectrum. Of the, If it's not comprehensive, people won't learn enough. And if it's not ongoing, people will forget. The biggest problem with ionizing radiation in a training environment is that it's invisible. So it's very hard to teach people how to avoid something that's quite ethereal. Personal protection equipment in a theatre is of utmost importance. It allows the staff member to block the radiation and it's one of the three most important factors which are um, time, shielding and distance. We've got to have that shielding in place and part of the radiation safety training that we offer is about how to use this shielding properly. The goal of fostering this culture is so important because it means everybody's responsible, not just for their own health and safety, but for everybody in the team. So the perioperative nurses can be making suggestions, the radiologists, the radiographers, the anaesthetists, everybody in that working environment has a duty to protect themselves and a duty to protect their colleagues. For better education, 